Uh, empty honeycomb two, right above the boiling pond of water that has or had a Jinjo. And, uh, and Boggy's fish is another honeycomb. Your best best is to fly it to it. It's dangerous to grip grab because there's a malcontent grip grab monster on the ledge. Only kidding, it really makes no difference. <laughs> it's just dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, empty honeycomb three is after gliding to get the Jinjo in Icicle Grotto. I bet that's the one because you wouldn't have been able to get go it. Go back across, there's an exit to the fiery side of the mountain just before you exit outside. It should be to your right. Beware the vicious icicles that are putting their idiotic, uh, that are, they're putting their idiotic into practice. On the other side of the satanic passageway, you'll see your honeycomb. Sorry if I seem like I'm scattered when I read those things, but it's tiny text. It's actually making me a little cross-eyed, people. So where is it supposed to be? I need to read it again. Yeah, at the Icicle Grotto. Okay, after gliding to get the Jinjo and Icicle Grotto, go back across. There's an exit to the fiery side on the mountain just before you exit outside. All right, so it should be to your right. So it's probably... I wonder if it's up there somewhere. Beware the vicious icicles. Oh, there it is. Now we just gotta figure out how to get to it. Let's see. There, It's probably like a loop thing, so you have to try and find the way, like a grip grab or something. Yeah, on the other side of the satanic passage, uh, passageway, passageway, <laughs> passageway, you'll find your honeycomb. Uh, so how do we get to it then? Look around the walls, because sometimes there's like a little hole that you climb into to get to it. So look on that that wall. Oof, except stupid icicles. Look up there. Oh, wait, climb up that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no, you gotta get rid of probably Banjo. Oh, unless you can use the cl use the clockwork k k kazooie eggs. Oh. See if All that right. works. I don't know, it doesn't look open to me. Okay, well, I was wrong. Let's see, can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, we can! Oh, I wasn't aiming for a Cheeto page. Oh. I didn't I was explaining think... a honeycomb. Okay, well, we found that, and let's see. The honeycomb. Funniest thing how you find things when you're looking for other things. Boom, 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 I, boom, I picked boom, empty honeycombs, right? Uh, they're both, they were probably both in the same area that we're thinking of. Yeah, uh, beware the vicious eye they'll put their, they're putting their idiotic and idiotic into practice. On the other side of the satanic passageway, you'll see your honeycomb. <laughs> Can it be just could it be just walking out of the cave? Inside Icicle Grotto on the right. In an alcove above the cooked fish on the lava side. And on the ledge above lava in the lava side train station. So it's probably in here somewhere. Oh. Well, I'm not denying that. It's in here somewhere. What? Three. Uh. All right. 
This is the one that you had to glide to, right? Because I thought there was one, like, off in the distance. Okay, to the right. What's over there? What used to be over there? I don't know. It says you have to go through a gauntlet of icicles, so... Pl go, go up the icicle ledges. Well, if we can't find it in here, Alex must have luckily got it at the convenient when he did. And it's probably in the lava side. I bet you anything, he might have maybe gotten the one in here. Okay, do you want me to read the, the lava ones then? One's in by the train station. And the other one is by the co where the cooked fish was. Above the pool or something. I want to say it's above the pool. I'm pretty certain I got the one in the train station. Okay, so let's go to the- Okay, so the one that is in the train station, right above the boiling pond of water that has or had a Jinjo and Boggy's fish, and it is another gin uh, honeycomb. Your best bet is to fly to it. It's dangerous to grip grab because there's mal there's a malcontent grip grab monster on the ledge. Only kidding, it makes no difference. Careful, Alex, you might break a sweat in here. <laughs> I do that every time we record. Mm -hmm. He breaks a sweat for you people. Yep, yeah, that's my version of hardcore athletics. This, this is your, this is basically your weekly workout, is that what you're saying? Yep. You break a sweat while playing games? Yeah. Uh, That's of... funny, considering you really don't need to work out. I could stand to build muscle. Eh. Don't you realize, Alex, this is the era of the skinny geek. Besides, you're already spoken for, because as everybody knows, I mean, you were trying to hook yourself up with Brooke when we did sister location. <laughs> so... No, seriously, people actually do believe that, that they believe, think... believe, with, believe my theory, that, that you intentionally did that way. And frankly, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask uh, Brooke to explain that. <laughs> okay, go. There it, there is. it is. We can see it. And there's that malcontent monster. All right, so we have both the items for Hailfire? Yep, I believe so. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. Let's, Except bringing Brooke. Let's just to double location. check. Let's just double check. Because now I'm getting nothing but questions on it. Hell, fire peaks, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, it's funny because I got a bunch of PMs. Was like, Alex, you sly dog. <laughs> You're touching my hand, Chuck. You sly dog. <laughs> And funniest thing, if that's actually what his motivation was, it didn't happen. <laughs> no. Because I think I think I caught Brooke once when she got startled, and it was just like she jumped back. It's like yeah. It was, it was during when we were dealing with Demon Freddy. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so where's our next destination? Um, Grunty Industry or Pterodactyl Land? Looks like Pterodactyl Land. We have a lot of stuff. Oh, never mind. No, one Cheeto page and a Jiggy for Terry Dacty Land. And Grunty Industry. Well, that's Honeycomb that and a one Jiggy. I know where possibly know. the Jiggy is for Grunty Industry. I know. The Terry Dacty Land, um, that's a kind of a question I'll have to. Yeah, I know what Cheeto page we're missing for Terry Dacty Land, because it's the one you get with when you fill Dippy's Pond. Was that the one? Yeah, because okay. we can't get it otherwise until the pond is well, filled. I thought you, I thought you could ma you use the egg to kind of luckily shoot right into it, but <laughs> the only the only uh. jiggy that I wonder if the one the Cheeto page you, or the jiggy you didn't get is the one. Did you get the, um, the little T Rex to roar to get it? I don't think I got that one because you, we couldn't find. 
yeah, of entrance. Yeah, couldn't find where to go. So I don't think I got that. Okay, one. then. Let's see. Where is his? Keep it going, people. Keep it going. We're having a really great time. Ow. We actually might get all of this done today. I'm so, not kidding. Yep. We have like, I, I just looked at the time for our recording. We're fine. We're more than fine. Let's do this. We just need to find a warp pad. Then you could probably do it really quick. Okay, sorry guys. I don't mean to go off the mic, but I'm gonna have to do this. Oh man. Okay. Uh. Did Canary Mary give you another carpal tunnel? No. <laughs> Chair gave me gamer butt. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Angry Joe, but this and all the other people who use this chair, it is not comfortable. Ugh. <laughs> You're talking to a person who thought he had no butt, but now this chair reminds me that I have one. It's just very, very painful right now. And and they say you had no butt. It's probably there. But how do we even get up there? You probably have to fly. There's got to be sprain boots. Because <laughs> there's no flight pads. There is a flight path here. I'm sorry, all I heard was bounce pads. Bounce pads! There's shoes there too, you can grab those. Uh -huh. And what are we going for? The cheeto, cheeto page. Cheeto page? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, you can see the shadow. There we go! Da, 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 da. So all we need to do is get a Jiggy in Terry Land. Yep. Do we know which one? It's, we're, uh, we're, yeah. we're gonna assume it's the little T-Rex and you have to do the roar combo to get it. The roar combo? Yeah. The roar combo. Which I need to find the right sign for. Do we? I'm sorry, do we need to dig out the Killer Instinct voice guy for roar combo? ROAR COMBO! Oh, speaking of which, so somebody actually did ask me about Killer Instinct Season 3. Am I playing it? No, just because I don't have time. But I'm very excited to play. I'll get in there at some point. Just like Street Fighter Five. It'll happen. Okay, okay check to make sure you can roar. Of course I can roar. That's the first thing you learn. Okay. Just making sure, because you wouldn't want to get all the way up there but and find out you, you can. But can you roar combo? <laughs> can you roar combo? I don't know this is the first time I've seen these two words together. Roar combo. Wait, why are we here? Just shortcut up to the top. Oh, you... Oops. Roar! I've never heard the words roar and combo in the same sentence. Hey, you can't get in here as that sort of creature. That, that's racist, Jam Jar. That is absolutely racist. Okay, so racist. go downward. Yeah, just, that's a big jump. Did you break it? Okay. I'm really worried right now you could jump off the edge. That's a very floaty jump right there. For such a heavy little guy like that, how could you do a uh -huh. jump like that? And Banjo Kazooie can't do that. But man, I just realized he's got a whole lot of booty. Okay, That's so we're gonna one. have to jump down. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's gonna be one of these directions. You should be able to find the entrance. There is a sign where he tells you the exact pattern you need. That I need to find. No, that's not it. Unga bunga. What happens if you go Keep into going that way. cave as a T-Rex? He'll just laugh at you. Oh. He'll just laugh at you. Well, that's that's very inconsiderate of him. Nope. 
I have oh, a Wamba. That just put us back. Okay. Oh, here we go. Roar! 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 roar. Then the glittering prize will be yours. Alright, so we got one short, two short, one long, one short, one long, two long. Okay, now we gotta find the, the doors. Well, look in the guide. Two short, one long, one short, two long. Is that right? <laughs> you yep. got me. No! You racist pterodactyl! Baby T-Rex has a right to exist just as much as you do. <laughs> Alex, the pterodactyl hurt my feelings. Aww. Woo. You don't care. It'd be, really. it'd be like in the area where it says to the pa to the nest path or something, where it says to the nest. To the nest. That's where the entrance would be. So basically, one of the signs that we just barely saw. Yeah. To the top like of the, the mountain, you gotta go. Whatever. Except you have to go. You gotta yeah, go down have to go and around all over the town. Path. Yeah. I look for my kitty cat. Yeah. I don't like this. Oh, calm yourself. Now jump down. That's. Ah! Missed. But I did die. I would think you wouldn't. Well, you can't go that way. Do, 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 Do we need a magic cut before we get to the door? I don't know. Warp back up there again. Let, let's get back up to that, that ledge and then we'll uh, we'll magic cut till then. Alright. Just jump down! But then I gotta swim across the water. That takes forever. This will be quicker. Either that or just climb up instead of going up and then I'm climb. trying to climb. So here's the pad, see? I can't. No, Let's go! Don't go that way. That's the way. Okay. I'm like, don't go out. And be careful when you jump off. Well, I'm trying to be careful, but I can't get the camera to adjust. How about Baby T Rex meets Mr. Vile? <laughs> Okay, now just kind of slide off to the side. There you go. Okay, now you're probably gonna have to go the other way. Too short! Okay, this time just climb up because you're not gonna. It's gonna be I, harder. I can't climb up. See? Not that way. Just jump down and go that way. Yeah, see, this is just gonna take me into the water, and that's just gonna take twice as long now. Okay. 
that's it. Let's see. Should be nearby. Okay, here we are. All right. Okay, we're back, people. We finally found the, the door that we're looking for, so... Take it away, Alex. So, well, we remind me of the combo. So it was too short? Too, too short. short, one long. One short? One short. Two long. There we go! Yay, Drak can remember things! Yay! Pterodactyl land is done! <laughs> Alright, so jo Grunty Industries, is that it? Yep. Alright, let's let's finally finish Grunty Industries, the one place that people think we spent way too much time in. Other than that, all we have left is Isle of Old Hags, but I think we may come across a few things along the way. Wait, what? Well, we still have to find ten notes, one Jinjo, and one Jiggy for oh, Isle of okay. Old Hags. In the Isle of Hags. Well, thanks for being a buzzkill for me, Andrea. I thought we were almost done. We're never done. Never. <coughs> we have to be. There are other games that are in this slot. Banjo just keeps on going, ahem, <laughs> going. Into nuts and bolts. No. 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 That game doesn't exist to us. Oh. You might as well look up the honeycomb for... For Grunty? Yep. For okay, Grunty. give me a second and I'll find it. So, Grunty Industries, there are three of them. Here's the first one. When you first arrive at Grunty Industries, ah! you're at the train station, there's a honeycomb in there. Got that. You yeah. should see a fragile book. Okay. Uh, empty two. In the corner of the huge storage room on floor three, there is another fragile box. Bust it and steal the gold. And then Honeycomb 3, when you activate the flight pad, the switch is on floor 4, fly to the top of the building, and the and the Honeycomb is in a sh uh, in a smokestack. And I got that. Okay, so it's the, it's the second one then. It's got to be the one in the third floor, right? Yeah, so in a, hu in a corner of the huge storage room on floor 3, there is another fragile box. And of course it says fragile with quotations. Fragile. I'm, I'm going to take that in the, the sense that the box is alive, and you have to kill it. And in that case, but to I go, guess Alex is going to get the j jiggy first, right? Yeah. I think there's split pads in here. I think it's on the other side of that. Might be one on this side, I think. Oh, yep. All right, Freedom! banjo. Time to jump. Not time to snooze. Time first to jump. First a nap. That's kind of how you're feeling right now, Alex. Because you're coming here from work, so. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, I could use a nap right now. In fact, you know what? I could use a nap. Can we take a nap, please? Wait, there's a cheeky in there. Duh. That's what we're here for. I was reading a honeycomb. Well, yeah, he knew where the j last Jiggy was for this level. Don't confuse me like this! I was reading a honeycomb one! I thought we were going to the honeycomb hut! Why are we going to the honeycomb hut, Alex? We'll go to the honeycomb hut soon enough. Okay. In the bonus episode of Banjo-Tooie, it's just, it's just hit me and Alex sitting there eating honeycomb. <laughs> Only watch Metal Gear. With, with a big piece of paper saying Honeycomb Hut. <laughs> Honeycomb Hut is wherever you want it to be. Now we feel like we're talking about Donkey Kong. Oh, trust me, we'll get there. Yeah, to the people who are asking about that, yeah, Donkey Kong's on there. Don't don't suggest it, it's already on the list. And it may be coming sooner than you think. To so. a theater near you. What was that? To a theater near you. To a theater near you. This summer, 